Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so, so, so excited because I have got my hands on the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvases, which are full coverage eyeshadow bases. As you guys know, I am very passionate about the fact that concealers are not eye primers and vice versa, so I'm really excited to give these guys a go. They have been compared quite a lot to the P. Louise base, which I am a huge fan of. This is a true, true, true first impression the video. I literally picked these up like an hour ago and I was like I need to film right away, I need to get these up. So I picked up three colours, I have got Halo which is a white, I have got Illustrate which is for fair and I've got mm, Create which is for medium. They do do a darker shade as well but realistically I knew that I was never going to use that so I didn't bother. But I'm going to play with these guys today, see what happens and yeah before we go any further let's just make sure you're all hitting subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell button so you don't miss any future uploads from me if you want to see how these cut crease canvases from makeup revolution play out then just keep watching okay so i've opened them out the parcel now the container is super chunky which i really like the feeling of so we've got halo first a white one which is a super opaque white I think Illustrate seems a little bit more neutral, it's really nice. And then Create, which is a more yellow. I think I'm going to like that one the best. So I'll zoom you guys in so you can see. So you can see the colour is really opaque on them. They do feel super different to the Conceal and Defend concealers, which is good. I was kind of worried that it was just the same thing repackaged, but it definitely feels different. So I think I'm going to use this yellow one first and do that as my eye base. And then I think I'm going to do the white one as a cut crease. I think the kind of more neutral one will be really nice for days when I don't want as vibrant a look, but I feel like I want to do something colourful today, so I like I like to basically working with more bright coloured shadows. So I'm just going to use the little applicator that it comes with, and I'm going to just brush this over the eyelid. I haven't really been given any instruction as to how little or how much to apply, but it does say it's a full coverage, so I'm going to give a really good coverage to my eyelid. Now I'm not going to do a direct one eye with P. Louise and when I with this, I will say that the texture does remind me a little bit of the P. Louise base. It's definitely more in that kind of wet eye primer consistency. It feels really nice. How it lasts and how it grips the shadow remains to be seen. Wow, I cannot believe how opaque that is. That's totally brightened up my lid. You can totally see the difference between this eye with the primer and this eye without. For eyes, I thought I'll just use a palette that I know is really going to work for me, a palette that I love and that I've used already but I want to use again. So we'll go in with the Morphe James Charles palette. I did do a video with this palette. If you guys want to see it, I'll link it below. I feel like I'm going to just stick to the kind of orangey colours because I'm wearing orange so let's just match. So I'm just taking the colour 10% off on my Morphe R39 brush. And I'm just doing what I do always, which as you guys know, is just start off by stamping the colour down exactly where I want it. Obviously you guys have seen me do this a million times, it is the step that I do most days with my eyeshadow. The base is picking up the colour really nicely, it's giving me a really nice opaque lay down, so, so far so good. Then I'm just going to start to blend away the edges using the shade code James. The primer does actually feel super sticky on my lids, which I really like. This is why I tend to pick an eyeshadow primer over a base because I really like to have a bit more of a tacky base. I think it really grips the colour and this one is doing that really nicely. Then on a Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush I am going in with the shade Boutique and I'm just using that to really intensify my crease and really deepen it up. Just so that when we go in and do a more kind of cut crease look it's going to have a lot of depth behind it. So my eyes going to really pop still, which I really like. I'm going to just run a little bit more of that petite shade on my lower lash line. Really want to keep this really soft and blown out. So I'm going to do all this at once, just so that everything's really nicely blended together. And then buff out the edges of that with that same shade, 10% on. So basically all three colours that I used on top, I'm going to just do the exact same on the bottom. So I really like that as an eye primer. I feel like it gave me a really nice, easy canvas to work on. It was sticky enough that it grabbed the colours, but not too sticky that it made it really hard to blend. So I really, really like this for an eye primer, but now we're going to put the name to the test and see if it really is a cut crease canvas. This time I'm going to go in with the shade Halo, which is the white shade, and we're going to try that to cut the crease. So it does come with a little brush applicator tip, which I think is supposed to help you cut the crease, so we'll see. If not, I've got my trusty brush that I always use for cutting creases to hand, so we'll soon find out if I need to dip into that. I'm just going to do what I always do, which is just kind of stamp that down on the 
lash line, look up and my eye round to get the natural height. The little brush is a little bit chunky for me, I prefer to work with something a little bit smaller for cutting my crease. But for putting down the colour, it's really good, but I'm probably going to switch over to my little Urban Decay Angled Lip Brush, which I normally use for cutting my crease, and just use that to really carve everything out. Okay, so that base has went on really nicely. I did find the product to be a little bit runny, so I had to work quite quick with it. The brush did put down a lot of product, so you had to work quite quick to kind of blend out before it smudged, but you cannot deny the colour payoff for that cut crease is amazing. So I'm just setting the inner third of my eye and all along the crease that we've cut with the shade Flashback. And then I'm going to take my little petite crease brush again in that shade Boutique, and I'm going to just kind of feather away the edges I'm just kind of taking all the colours we used in the crease and I'm just using them to kind of give myself that really nice gradient blend one thing I did find when cutting the crease is that that little brush deposits a hell of a lot of product so you have to work really quickly to kind of blend and spread the colour out if you want to get a really even payoff and you have to be really careful with your crease that it doesn't get time to smudge so I would really really advise if you're using that white shade to set it down with a white shadow like immediately otherwise you're going to lose that kind of precision that you spent so long building up. So I'm going to use the shade Face which is the kind of lightest metallic gold from the James Charles palette and I'm just going to run that over the lid just because I don't want the look to be super matte I want a little bit of shimmer in there. Don't worry if you don't have to take it right the way up to where your crease is cut. It is quite nice to have a little bit of white going into shimmer just to give yourself a little bit of dimension. Make sure you're not losing that nice orange because you know that I like to always put a little bit of matte over and a little bit of shimmer. just think it looks so good. Guys, I can't believe how quick that was. I think that's probably the quickest and easiest cut crease I have ever done. So what I'm going to do now is the other eye off camera. I'm going to pop on some mascara and lashes. And I'll meet you right back here. And we can see what we think of this primer. Okay, so I've done the other eye off camera. I popped on some lashes. I popped an orange pencil in my waterline and did a lip. So the whole look has come together really, really nicely. So obviously these primers, I want to just check in, give you guys some final thoughts. I used the shade Create as my overall like, all over eye base. I really liked it. It was really opaque. It really gave me a really good coverage and really blank out your whole eyelid, which I really like in a primer. It wasn't too sticky that it made the shadows hard to blend out, but it was still sticky enough to really grip the pigment of my shadows, which I really liked. The white one I used for cutting my crease in the shade Halo. Again, really nice, really opaque. I would say if you're going to use it with a little brush that's built in, maybe just scrape away a little bit of the excess product because I did find that on this eye, I had a little bit too much going on in my lid to work with. It was a bit of a struggle to blend out nicely, whereas on this eye, I scraped off quite a lot and it was much easier to apply. But yeah, I really liked it and it really gripped my shimmer shadows really well. So yeah, they work really cool. They're £6. They're really, really good. And I know a lot of people have compared these primers to the P. Louise base, but for me they were really different. Like, yeah, they were both beautiful formulas, but there was something quite different about this one. It just seemed to be really, really fluid and really, really wet. So I would recommend really making sure you've got that base super well set before you apply any eyeshadow if you want to have a maximum payoff. But for cutting the crease, it was really, really good. I did prefer using my own brush for cutting the crease, the Urban Decay Angled Lip Brush, just because it's what I'm used to. But overall, yeah, it was really... A nice experience playing with these £6, definitely a winner for me. I hope you guys like this video, I hope you guys like the finished look. If you want to see more videos then obviously you can hit the subscribe button below, you can hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me and if you want to become best of friends you can catch me on my other social medias which as usual are always here. And yeah, if you like this video, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to get one, two, three of these um, and tell me your thoughts. Also tell me your thoughts if there's any other eye bases you guys like because you know I love a good eye primer. I think it is such an important product to every makeup routine. But yeah, if you like this video, then please come back for more and I will see you next time. Bye!